What's up guys, this is Ryan Johnson with MoneyBass.com back again with another open discussion and this time we're going to be talking about Hummingbird Mega Live. And as you guys have seen, if you're watching this video, I'm pretty sure that you are aware and you've been staying up on things that Hummingbird has released a quick video showing one of the pros um, going over his experience with it and it has a few screenshots in there that for most of us, eh, doesn't really show us too much and doesn't really answer too many questions. It actually leaves a lot of questions that we just don't know yet. So again, we're still kind of waiting to see what's going on with everything. So I just wanted to take this chance to put together a quick video for an open discussion for you guys that know information about Active Target and Live Scope in comparison to what Hummingbird could or could not be based on the few snippets that we saw and what are your thoughts on live imaging as a whole so I would say the first thing is what is the purpose of live imaging what are the things that you are hoping to accomplish with that and for me what I would think again I don't have this technology yet I'm still waiting to see what Hummingbird comes out with before I make my decision my final decision on that but for me I would think that it is to track moving fish actively while they are in motion and in location in the location where you're at for your boat the second thing is to be able to track your bait so whenever you cast that bait out you can track it in relation to where the fish are and see how close or how far away your bait is and get that cast right on target so with that being said these are a few things that i kind of jotted down real quick that for me just left things unanswered with the hummingbird information that was put out in that video so the first thing I would say is I did not see a shot that showed um, structure in the video whenever they were showing the the actual views and the video clips that we saw there wasn't any active structure in there or so I thought until I did find a clip that I'll show you guys how to pull up yourself so you could take a look at it and take a look at that before you leave your um, comments or questions below and see if that may or may not answer a few things for you because I did notice that the comments in relation to that video are a lot better than the ones that were in the commercial so um, no structure the other thing is no moving bait on forward imaging for me I do like to fish offshore a lot so for me that forward view is going to be a big player and I do want to know how far out does that beam go how far out can you see your bait those type of things and also how far forward can let me see can you see on forward view and on landscape view we don't really have any of those specs or at least I have not seen those if any of you guys know that please put that in the comments and be sure to make sure that you read the description because if I see some good information in the comments I'll copy that and paste it in the description so you guys don't necessarily have to read through all of the comments but the comments will be a good source of some information of course there's going to be some guys that are putting putting a lot of opinionated things in there but you just kind of have to weed through that the best you can but like I said this is an open discussion and an effort for everyone here and in this fishing community to help each other out and let people know um, information that will help them make the best decision with spending their money to make the purchase that they feel is best for them and their current setup so for instance if you already have spent thousands of dollars setting up a full ranch system or a full hummingbird system or a full Garmin system you may not want to just change out everything even if you did you may not have the funds to do that so in the comments if you guys know of any good deals on hummingbird mega live hummingbird products Garmin um, live scope or Garmin Garmin products or Lawrence products active target etc please put that information down in the comments so the guys can take a look at that and hopefully save themselves some money so the other thing let me see what are the oh so the angles of the cone so we know that Garmin and Lawrence have 135 degrees by 18 and 135 by 20 what is the angle for the hummingbird mega live system so um, I guess that's about all I have on this one but like I said I wanted this to be something where you guys can come to for information by reading the comments because on the previous videos that I did on this topic there was a lot of good information a lot of guys were able to find out some things that helped them out and wanted to go ahead and show you this other video that I 
found just in case you guys haven't seen that. All right, so basically all you do is, and I don't know how to, some people are able to share the screen and all that kind of stuff. I am basically a fisherman that does YouTube videos, so the YouTube thing is not my first, uh, my first skill set. So I still just pull stuff up the old fashioned way on the computer. So you just go to Google, go to Hummingbird, Mega, Live, Facebook, and do a search on that. The first thing that should come up would say Hummingbird Post Facebook. Once you click on that link, it'll take you straight to the Hummingbird um, Facebook page. You don't have to log in or anything like that. And the first image that comes up is an image that shows structure. You can see the fish on there. To me, the image looks real good. But what do you guys think of this image? I'll show it to you. Maybe I can kind of do a quick snippet with my phone real quick. All right, so that is what I'm looking at on the screen. Again, it'll probably be better if you go there directly to the website yourself. This screenshot I'm doing is a video of the video that is on my computer. So, of course, the resolution is not going to be as great. But I just wanted you guys to see. I just wanted you guys to see the video link that I was speaking of. So whenever you find it, you'll know exactly what I was talking about. So basically, again, what are your guys' thoughts as far as the quality of this video compared to the ones that you've already seen? To me, looks like it might be something that I'll be moving forward with, but I'm still open. That's all I have for now. Thank you for your comments. Thank you guys for hitting the subscribe button. Also, just finishing up my Lake Chickamauga tournament. It was some good action on there found fish offshore, wish I would have had that live target, live scope, or mega live. Um, it would have helped me out a little bit, but I still had a good day out there. But um, make sure you guys subscribe, take a look at that video. I'll leave a link to that at the end of this. But until next time, looking forward to seeing what you guys think.